Okay, right, let's see if this one looks good. Alright. I wonder if we're going to just leave it at that. Alright. This one's going to be interesting. I'll see if we can make it interesting. I don't like this system. I don't like this user interface. I prefer the tabs on the, like on the old C353 instead of this shit. This stupid shit. Anyway, we'll see how we go with this. And the black is going to stay the same. Right, what do we got? We got something interesting. It's just a well, not that interesting. It says Bungalow Music Festival. We don't want that side. We want the coloured side, the more colourful side. So we're going to use that. This is what we're going to fire copy. We're going to make it. In, we're going to turn it upside down, and we're going to do something. We're going to move it. We're going to slide it around in an interesting fashion. Hopefully, it's interesting. So let's see how we've done it this time. So it's like a stabilising image. This is typical Konica Minolta behaviour. You get that sometimes or often. So let's see how this one turns out. So let's see if we've made that a really that is a nice little movement. I'm wondering if we're gonna use this in a mirror image. So we're just gonna move our other originals away and we're gonna make this into our mirror image master. So we're just going to take this, we're just going to toss it aside, and we're going to use this. So I'm wondering which side's going to go to the middle. Is it going to be this side, or maybe that side? That side looks a bit nicer. So let's just put that on the glass, as so, like so, and we're going to just make some adjustments. It's probably going to curl. We've had a lot of problems with curling lately. Paper curling, it's a really big problem since this wet weather had come just recently. So I'm not terribly happy <laughs> with this. I, I tried to find a solution. I put some damp red in the cupboard just when I opened the paper today. And I think the paper seems to have picked up the dampness even before I've opened it, even though I tried my hardest. I know we. that looks quite nice. The green looks beautiful. It looks iridescent. There's not much black. But that'll be better for to prevent some of the curling if we make the originals light. It's a pity we have to do that sometimes because it's nice to have dark images too. But the green has come up a treat, an iridescent treat. So we're just doing two copies like we're doing it here. We're going to run off two mirror imaged copies. So this is the second one that'll go here just like the same. And already this one's starting to curl up a bit. So we're just going to touch the corners like so, and we're just going to go and get the other two run off. It just doesn't seem to be a solution to the curling because for many months our, our copies had stayed really flat, really flat, and now it seems even despite the damp rid. No, I haven't opened the damp rid. I, I only opened the damp rid when I opened the paper, so the damp rid isn't going to act straight away. <laughs> That's only logic. <laughs> But basically, I've kept the paper wrapped up, no, op not opening it, and I think I might have, maybe I should have put the damp red straight in, straight away. I don't know. But hopefully the curling won't be as severe, because I'm just storing it in a little, in my bedside, one of my bedside tables. And it's got a nice little cupboard, so I can put the damp red in and the paper. So hopefully the amount of curling will be minimised. So anyway, this is our, these are our mirrors. We're just going to line them up and with the, um, in the corners with the, just bear with me, with the um, normal prints. 
So these are our so our mirrors are going together with our normal. I seem to have made a mess of the positioning here. Sorry guys and girls. So we're just going to go and line them up as best as we can without getting too obsessive and fussy. So let's see how we go. So let's see if we can make it look good. Good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can't be perfect. We're not even living in a perfect world. So why should we use the word perfect when descri describing day-to-day -day things? Anyway, that looks quite nice. I think I quite like it. The green really marks the spot like an X.